They call it the Lenovo Yoga 9i, and in this video, let's unbox it. I'd like to thank Intel for sponsoring this video and sending over the Lenovo Yoga 9i. Now this laptop is an Intel Evo laptop, and what really sets these laptops apart is the fact that brands partner up with Intel to optimize, this, let's say for instance, this laptop has the i7-1195G7. They optimize this CPU inside of the laptop. I like this box so far. They optimize it inside of the laptop for maximum efficiency and performance in real world situations. For instance, the Yoga 9i promises four hours of runtime and just 15 minutes of charging. Okay, so those are the type of optimizations I'm talking about when a laptop gets the Intel Evo platform stamp on its chassis. So it's not just marketing jargon, it actually takes the processor and optimizes it within the laptop. For instance, Thunderbolt 4, Wi-Fi 6, fast charging, longer battery life, and better performance inside of apps like Photoshop. For instance, I recently reviewed the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360, another Intel Evo laptop, and it beat out the Ryzen 7 5700U inside of the HP NVX 360, as well as the MacBook Pro M1 inside of the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark. And we're gonna fully benchmark this laptop here very soon, but first and foremost, let's hop into the unboxing and check it out. Before we do that, let's see what we got as far as extra components are concerned. Let's see, we have a 65 watt hour charger block. Pretty on the go friendly. And let's uh, go ahead and, ooh, look at that. That was super simple. I'm liking this packaging. It's kind of this brushed cardboard. Kind of that heathered look. You know, you got that heathered look on shirts, but that's a really sleek looking package. I've actually yet to review a yoga laptop before, so I'm pretty excited to jump into this thing. What we got here? Any extra fun stuff? Yoga 9i, 14 inch. Got the 14 inch model here. Seems thin and light. I'm excited about that. Definitely an opportunity for an on the go friendly laptop. Oh, wow. That looks really nice. I'm liking the build quality. It feels really sturdy, really solid, especially for how thin and light that is. Of course, you can see the thickness and weight coming up on the screen. And then I like this little detail here. It says Yoga 9 Series. Love that touch. That's what I like about these more premium laptops, especially in the thin and light category, when they take the extra thought to just refine them and just make them just so just a touch of prestige in the laptop. Got the Yoga logo right here up in the top corner. That looks really classy, really simple. And then let's go ahead and check out the ports. We have USB type A, two USB type C's, which are Thunderbolt 4 because of the Intel Evo platform, headphone jack, and on the other side, we have our power button to turn on and off the laptop. Let's go ahead and check out the edges. Everything is fit together very nicely. Bottom cover into the side panels, no catchy edges. Really well put together laptop. Uh, and then later in the video, we'll go ahead and pop off these screws and uh, see if we can check out the interior, see if there's any upgrade path available on this laptop. So we'll find that out later in the video. So make sure you stay tuned. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of this laptop, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Let's go ahead and do an open and close test on this laptop here. See if we can do that with one hand. Ah, little sticky there at the edge of the hinge. It will, if you kind of give it a little shake, it'll get open with that. The hinge gets a little stiff right here as you're about fully open. So this to me will be a two-handed open just so the laptop doesn't kick up. And I love this manual cutoff switch for the webcam. Make sure you got no cyber spying going on. Just slide that over, turns it on turns it off. This is a two-in-one laptop, so it completely folds over and then get quick access to your pen right here. That is fantastic. So this was one complaint I had for the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 is they did not have a built-in pen. It kind of just magnetized to the front. So I would say that if you're, you know, considering between those two laptops and you want, you know, that pen to be just not easily lost, Great feature right there. Uh, some laptops have it, some don't. The Yoga has the built-in pen, love that feature. All right, let's flip this back over. We get a nice vent here along 
the back panel of the chassis, no vents along the side panel, and of course you have a vent along the bottom of the chassis here. Now one really cool feature for the Yoga 9i is the rotating sound bars. The sound bar is actually built into the hinge, and so when you open up the laptop, rather than the audio still kicking out you know, behind you, if you were to have it rotated into two and one mode, the sound will come out and flow this way rather than aiming the sound this way. Let's say that the speakers were on the keyboard deck of the laptop, it would push the sound away from you, but rather the sound comes off of the top of the bezel of the screen when it's flipped over and you still have a good audio experience. I think that was a really neat touch that they put together there on the 9i. Let's go ahead and jump into the keyboard. A nice short to medium key press. The keys do not have a soft touch material, but they do feel nice under my hands. They are a plastic material. And then moving down to the trackpad, a nice confident click. Um, it is a little more of a click sound rather than kind of a muted dunk, dunk, dunk. So I'll give you a quick sample of that, but during the full review, I'll do a full audio sample of both the keyboard and the trackpad, but here you go so you can hear the trackpad really quick. So a nice, confident, yet quiet click uh, from the Yoga 9i. And we have a USB Type-C charger which plugs into the Thunderbolt 4 port, which is what gives us that insanely fast charging. I mean, it's just crazy. In 15 minutes, you can have four hours of battery life. So while the computer is firing up, let's take a quick second to talk about the Intel Evo platform. When I first heard about this, I was kind of confused. I was like, is this a brand new like CPU lineup they're putting out? And then after doing some more digging, I found out that it's not a new lineup, rather it is the laptop brand partnering with Intel to optimize the CPU into the laptop. So they work very closely together to get the optimized Wi-Fi connection, the optimized battery life, the optimized performance, quick charging, and a number of other real world use cases that make this laptop so practical for on the go productivity. Getting the laptop turned on, we're looking at the screen now. It comes with a 16 by nine aspect ratio screen. It's a 14 inch screen, glossy. It's bright and seems to have really good color. And so we'll do the full color gamut range, color accuracy and brightness test during the full review. But for now, I'm liking the look of the screen. It looks sharp and clear. And so we're off to a great start before we even jump into the test. Now there is a manual cutoff switch, as I mentioned earlier, uh, but for now, I'm gonna give you a quick sample of the webcam to see how that looks. Here is the webcam on the Lenovo Yoga 9i and a little audio sample for you as well. The last thing we're gonna look at before we flip the laptop over, pull off the bottom cover is the Lenovo Vantage Center. And in here, you'll actually have some extra battery life settings to complement the Intel Evo platform. So you have even your intelligent cooling system. So you can do extreme performance if you're caring less about battery life, intelligent cooling to have it really optimized for battery life and to keep the system cool and then battery saving mode. So you can turn that on and you'll get the most battery life out of the charge. You can even turn on your conserve power mode, which will even help you improve the battery life even more. Like I said, they're saying about 13 plus hours of battery life, depending on what you're doing with the laptop, but we're gonna run into the full test in the dedicated review, so make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on that review. Now let's get this thing flipped over and check out the internals, see what we got as far as if there's an upgrade path available to us. So right before I pull the bottom cover off, if you're considering upgrading this laptop, make sure you pull off the rubber foot from the bottom of the laptop, which will review three pesky little screws that you need to also remove outside of the six standard screws that you can see when you flip the laptop over, because if you don't, it's gonna be like, why won't it come off? So get rid of those screws and then you can pull the bottom cover off. Now, as you can see, when you pull the bottom cover off, you have two nice size fans, heat pipe running through. The RAM seems to be under here, but it does not appear to be swappable. Now I'm sure with maybe a little bit more expert uh, hands, it may be, but according to the average consumer and myself, who's not overly technical with working on computers, it is not an easy swap. However, the SSD is swappable very easily. Just pop this screw off and you can remove that. So if you wanna do the, a post upgrade to this laptop to get up to one or two terabytes, go for it. Uh, that would be a great upgrade to this laptop. And now if you're ordering this laptop, I would get it with at least 16 gigs of RAM if you're a creative professional. 32 if you got some extra budget and you can find that configuration, but 16 will be a great starting point for you. Got a 58 watt hour battery. Hooked up to that Intel Evo platform, we should have some fantastic battery lives coming in the full review. Once again, I wanna thank Intel for sponsoring this video and hooking us up with the Lenovo Yoga 9i. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.